Hello guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So today in this video tutorial, we will learn about a special function of the Arduino ID and that is called as the Millis function. Okay, first we have to go to the coding section because it is better to explain first it in code and then we have to implement it. Okay. As we know that inside the Arduino, like we know that there are like uh, two main functions like wide setup and wide loop. So you need to write them. Okay, now sometimes we used to write some delay function like delay of 1000. So you can see that here delay of 1000 means that that before going to the next line because yeah before going to the next line like this is our next line so before going to the next line <coughs> our Arduino controller must have to wait for one second for one complete second and during the completion of this second, the whole control used to stuck inside this delay function. It is not going to listen any sort of like uh, any sort of pin state or if 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 it wants to execute anything, it, it it cannot because it is stuck inside this delay function. So it is not always better to use these delay functions because if if we want to execute something on some time then we can use some midi functions okay how we can use it so i can write like serial dot print ln 9600 so this line is for the initialization of the serial communication okay okay now what we will do we will uh, declare a const long like uh, time zero or time underscore zero is equal to millis so here we can see that millis function will work autonomously and is equal to is the assignment operator and uh, how many how many milliseconds passed as soon as the Arduino starts all will stored inside this constant or time underscore zero variable like as soon as the time passes the millis function will update itself and and also store the new values inside the time underscore zero variable so now we will uh, proceed a bit more now we will see that either this milli function will work in this way or not so time underscore zero so we will see that that either this yeah so okay wait 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 one more thing we we also we we, we can also do one more thing that uh, we can write some if statement for what yeah like uh, because if time passes a certain threshold like uh, if time underscore if time underscore zero is greater than like uh, 3000 means that if 3000 milliseconds are passed then it needs to serially print the time first three seconds it is not going to print any sort of time okay so we will run it like this okay it's done compiling okay now we we can copy the path of the hex file like this Control c okay now we will go to proteus and here we will take our arduino uno like this and we will rotate it okay now we will take our okay or no need to take this okay we can just uh, use the serial monitor or virtual terminal so we can 
here here it is not present so we will go here and we will take virtual terminal so this is actually the serial monitor type thing so rxt must be connected with the txt of arduino and txt of the serial must be with the rxt of arduino so this is our what's called as the serial monitor or virtual terminal okay so what our program is doing it will wait for first it will see that when the time passes by three second or three thousand millisecond then uh, it needs to print the time in milliseconds and not before so we will run it oh wait we need to put the uh, link of the hex file which we just copied okay so so we write this okay and control this okay now we will run it okay now for first three seconds it used to hopefully it used to wait and then okay wait there may be some problem serial dot print and time underscore zero wide loop and it's 3000 okay wait uh, can, can we write it like 1000 okay now what will happen we will see because in simulation usually the time is like uh, some Wait, so we will check about the txt and rxt yeah one one more thing yeah like uh, oh it's not print island it's begin okay so so we are wrong here so so it is so it, it must be like 3000 and now it will it, hopefully it will work fine okay so now we will run it and we will see that either it will yeah now you can see that it works perfectly fine so hopefully you got the concept that how we can use our millis function within the arduino you know so thanks for visiting our channel